The Harriman Brain Dominance Instrument is a system to measure and describe thinking preferences in people, developed by William Ned Harriman while leading management education at General Electric's Crotonville facility. It is a type of cognitive style measurement and model, and is often compared to psychological assessments such as the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator, Learning Orientation Questionnaire, DISC Assessment, and others. Brain Dominance Model In his Brain Dominance Model, Harriman identifies four different modes of thinking, A. Analytical thinking, keywords, auditive, logical, factual, critical, technical and quantitative. Preferred activities, collecting data, analysis, understanding how things work, judging ideas based on facts, criteria and logical reasoning. B. Sequential thinking, keywords, safekeeping, structured, organized, complexity or detailed planned. Preferred activities, following directions, detail-oriented work, step-by-step problem-solving, organization and implementation. See interpersonal thinking, keywords, kinesthetic, emotional, spiritual, sensory, feeling. Preferred activities, listening to and expressing ideas, looking for personal meaning, sensory input, and group interaction. De-imaginative thinking. Keywords, visual, holistic, intuitive, innovative, and conceptual. Preferred activities, looking at the big picture, taking initiative, challenging assumptions, visuals, metaphoric thinking, creative problem solving, long term thinking. His theory was based on theories of the modularity of cognitive functions, including well documented specializations in the brain's cerebral cortex and limbic systems and the research into left-right brain lateralization by Roger Walcott Sperry, Robert Ornstein, Henry Mintzberg, and Michael Gazzaniga. These theories were further developed to reflect a metaphor for how individuals think and learn. Use of that metaphor brought later criticism by brain researchers such as Terence Hines for being overly simplistic, however the metaphorical construct has proven effective in a variety of organizational contexts, especially for business and government. Harriman also coined the concept whole brain thinking as a description of flexibility in using thinking styles that one may cultivate in individuals or in organizations allowing the situational use of all four styles of thinking. Equals the Harriman brain dominance instrument equals, the format of the instrument is a 120 question online test, which claims to determine which of the model's four styles of thinking is a dominant preference. More than one style may be dominant at once in this model. For example, in Harriman's presentation a person may be dominant in both analytical and sequential styles of thinking but be weaker in interpersonal or imaginative modes, though he asserts all people use all styles to varying degrees. A 1985 dissertation by C. Bunderson, currently CEO of the non-profit Edumetrics Institute asserts that four stable, discrete clusters of preference exist, scores derived from the instrument are valid indicators of the four clusters, and the scores permit valid inferences about a person's preferences and avoidances for each of these clusters of mental activity. Equals consulting and training equals, based on the instrument and model, organizations such as Harriman International and Harriman Institute offer consulting and solutions to improve personal or group communication, creativity, and other benefits. Critiques. Equals self-reporting equals, Measurements that require people to state preferences between terms have received criticism. Researchers C. W. Allenson and J. Hayes, in their own 1996 publication of a competing cognitive style indicator called Cognitive Style Index in the peer-reviewed Journal of Management Studies, noted that there appears to be little or no published independent evaluation of several self-report measures developed as management training tools, including Harriman Brain Dominance Instrument. However, some find usefulness in self-reporting measurements. Researchers G. P. Hodgkinson and E. Sadler-Smith in 2003 found cognitive style indicators generally useful for studying organizations. However in a critique of the cognitive style index indicator they opine that progress in the field had been hampered by a proliferation of alternative constructs and assessment instruments many unreliable with a lack of agreement over nomenclature. To measure self-report consistency, a differential item functioning review of HBDI was published in 2007 by Jardlees. 
However, his tests were supported by Edumetrics, a company on contract with Heron and International to evaluate the system, and were therefore not completely independent. Equals lateralization equals, Harriman International describes an underlying basis for HBDI in the lateralization of brain function theory championed by Gazzaniga and others that associates each of the four thinking styles with a particular locus in the human brain. Analytical and sequential styles are associated with left brain and interpersonal and imaginative styles are associated with right brain, for example. Ned Harriman described dominance of a particular thinking style with dominance with a portion of a brain hemisphere. The notion of hemisphere dominance attracted some criticism from the neuroscience community, notably by Terence Hines who called it pop psychology based on unpublished EEG data. He asserts that current literature instead found that both hemispheres are always involved in cognitive tasks and attempting to strengthen a specific hemisphere does not improve creativity, for example. Heinz stated no evidence is presented to show that these brain dominance measures measure anything related to the differences between the two hemispheres. In other words, no evidence of validity, of hemisphere dominance is presented. Equals creativity equals, Harriman offered creativity workshops based on strengthening particular thinking styles and strengthening the right hemisphere, which received critiques that creativity is not localized to a particular thinking style nor to a particular hemisphere. A study published in the peer-reviewed Creativity Research Journal in 2005 by J. Manili and M. Portillo agreed that creativity is not localized into a particular thinking style, such as a right brain dominance resulting in more creativity. They did however find correlation between creativity and design students based on how flexible they were using all four thinking styles equally as measured by the HBDI. When students were less entrenched in a specific style of thinking they measured higher creativity using Domino Euro unregistered trademark S creativity scale. References Allenson, C.W., and Hayes, J. Cognitive Style Index a Measure of Intuition Analysis for Organizational Research, Journal of Management Studies, 33 January 1, 1996, Bentley, Joanne and Hall, Pamela Learning Orientation Questionnaire Correlation with the Harriman Brain Dominance Instrument, a Validity Study Dissertation Abstracts International Section A, Humanities and Social Sciences, Vol. 61, Tenor, April 2001 pages 3961. Deardorff, Dallas. An Exploratory Case Study of Leadership Influences on Innovative Culture, A Descriptive Study Dissertation Abstracts International, Section B, The Sciences and Engineering, Vol. 66, 4B, 2005 pages 2338. DeWald, RE Relationships of MBTI Types and HBDI Preferences in a Population of Student Program Managers. Dissertation Abstracts International, 50, 06, 2657b, Harriman, Ned The Theory Behind the HBDI and Whole Brain Technology PDF, Heinz, Terence The Myth of Right Hemisphere Creativity. Journal of Creative Behavior, Vol. 25, 3, 1991 pages 223 Euro 227. Heinz, Terence Left Brain Right Brain Mythology and Implications for Management and Training, The Academy of Management Review, Volume 12, No. 4, October 1987, Hines, Terence Left Brain, Right Brain, Who's on First? Training and Development Journal, Vol. 39, 11, November 1985 pages 32 a Euro 34. Journal article, Hodgkinson, Gerard P., and Sadler Smith. Eugene Complex or Unitary? A Critique and Empirical Reassessment of the Allenson Hayes Cognitive Style Index, Journal of Occupational and Organizational Psychology, 09631798, 20,030,601, Volume 76, Issue 2, Holland, Paul W. and Weiner, Howard Differential Item Functioning ISBN 0 80580 972 4. Krauss, MGA Comparison of the MBTI and the Harriman Participant Survey. Handout from Presentation at APTVII, the 7th Biennial International Conference of the Association for Psychological Type, Gainesville, FL. 
Lee's, Jade Differential Item Functioning Analysis of the Herriman Brain Dominance Instrument Master's Thesis, Brigham Young University, PDF, McKean, K. Of Two Minds, Selling the Right Brain. Discover, 6, 4, pages 30 Euro 41. Manili, Jason. And Portillo, Margaret. The Adaptable Mind and Design, Relating Personality, Cognitive Style, and Creative Performance. Creativity Research Journal, Vol. 17, 2-3, 2005 pages 155 a Euro 166. Journal Article, Wilson, Dennis H. A. Comparison of the Herriman Brain Dominance Instrument, TM, and the Extended DISCMRTM Behavior Profiling Tool. An attempt to create a more discerning management perspective. Dissertation Abstracts International Section A, Humanities and Social Sciences, Vol. 68, 3, a, pages 1079. Further reading, Ned Heron and the Creative Brain, Brain Books, Lake Lure, North Carolina. ISBN 0 944850 02 2. ISBN 978-0-944850-02-2. Ned Harriman The Whole Brain Business Book, McGraw-Hill, New York, NY. ISBN 0-07-028462-8. ISBN 978-0-07-028462-3. Giannini, John L. Compass of the Soul. Archetypal Guides to a Fuller Life. ISBN 0-935652-70-1. ISBN 978-0-935652-70-3. Edward Lumsdane, M. Lumsdane Creative Problem Solving, McGraw-Hill ISBN 0-07-039091-6. ISBN 978-0-07-039091-1. Peter Ferdinand Drucker, David Garvin, Dorothy Leonard, Susan Strauss, and John C. Lee Brown Harvard Business Review on Knowledge Management. Harvard Business School Press ISBN 0-87584-881-8. ISBN 978-0-87584-881-8. -5. Sala, Sergio Della, Editor. Mind Myths, Exploring Popular Assumptions About the Mind and Brain, J. Wiley and Sons, New York. ISBN 0-471-98303-9. ISBN 978-0-471-98303-9.